Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Power Addiction. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button, um, like, comment on the video. Anyways, it's been a little while since I've made a video of the whole pandemic, COVID-19, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, um, I've been locked in the house. I got a IHC, uh, it's an IHC airbag kit for lower trucks. Um, I have a 2-4 uh, Beltec drop on mine. The um, it's the, with the adjustable shocks and stuff. So when I go over bumps and I'm pulling my trailer, I bottom out. Um, so I put the airbag kit on there and now it doesn't do that. So this is the install video. Uh, like I said, like, subscribe, comment, click the bell notification and watch this. <laughs> All right, guys, so this came today. It's the IHC uh, helper bag for lowered trucks. Um, this is for the F-150. It didn't have instructions. It looks fairly simple. Um, I'm going to make this video so now people will have instructions when they are installing this. Um, it's good to have a video to kind of follow after. Anyways, I hope you enjoy. First, you need to take the tire off to install this kit. All right, so we're gonna be installing the IHC, um, the airbag kit for lower trucks. So I have a flip kit on here, and we have to take that all off, um, basically separate that, so we can. Um, we have to. I'll show you when we get there. But yeah, you have to take all all the uh, the two U bolts out and. Um, Basically, uh, raise the axle off the spring. So once we get there, I'll show you from there. All right, so I got the U-bolts out. I got the bracket off the top. We still got to get that uh, the shim out and the the uh, bottom bracket. But I need to get this shock needs to come off. I need to put in a shock extension. So I'm going to do that real quick. Um, it'll make things easier for me to work with once it's disconnected anyways. So the bottom shock bracket on the driver's side, the passenger side doesn't have one. So we're going to take that off right now. Just the bottom of the shock because that's where the extension goes. So I got the shock out of the way. So you should make it easier. I'll show you the pins in a second. The ones that when you installed on the kit you had to flip, we got to remove those. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to remove those. I'm going to put a c-clamp not a c-clamp um like the pipe this around the around the spring so it don't pop apart uh, i'll take it show you a picture in a second so that's what i did i put that clamp on there to hold that together because the these pins right here have to come out and it's easier just to put a clamp around like that you can put c-clamp on there you can put one on the front and back i only put one on the front side of the of the pins but it's pretty simple um to pop them out i gotta get that that um shim out of there too all right so this is the bracket it's got to go on the reason why we pull these pins out right here out of the leaf spring they go in there um the reason why we pull them out is because if you didn't and you try to set this on top of these you wouldn't have enough pin to hold your brackets and to keep your axle from sliding back and forth. So they designed it so that you can put these inside here, kind of like bolts to hold it down to the spring. And then you could still see you got a lip here that's gonna give you some, so, uh, your bracket can still go over top in your shim. So anyways, we're gonna put this bracket on and the bracket is pretty simple. It just goes where those holes were. So you're gonna set it right back here. See the holes? You're gonna stick it over the holes line them all up and then you're going to drop those pins right back inside there so you can see the pins are in i got to put the bolts on the bottom tighten it in uh it looks bad because it's separated but it's not really because i have that clamp on so it's easy you just grab this and push um you may need to uh give it a little bit of pressure to get one on and then the other one will go on easy so the front one's got a little bit of thread sticking out so you just gotta get that um this spring to go up a little bit and this one seems a little harder than the other side so 
um, but I don't think it's going to be too bad. Anyways, um, let's tighten that bitch down. You can also tap the top of that because it, it's got to go around the spring and it's kind of tight. So if you tap the top of this right here, this piece, and bang it down, it'll actually put the pins a little closer. So I got more thread now. Um, so this should be easy. I'm just going to put the bolts on, tighten them down, and uh, we'll be done with that section. All right, now you can see the bolts are tightened down. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't hard. I mean, this process takes longer than people say. It doesn't take 30 minutes to install. So now basically we're just going to reinstall the flip kit. If you took it off, you should know how it goes back on. Um, the, this, this bracket, two holes to the front. Um, then you got your plate on the top, which is the flat plate. It is somewhere around here. I don't even know where the fuck mine is, but anyways, it's somewhere around here. Um, where is it anyway? It's crazy. So you have your top plate that goes up here like that. And then you got your bottom plate right here. That goes that goes like this on the bottom. tighten those down and then your last part's going to be putting the bracket up here um, and the airbag on that that just screws the airbag just screws onto that simple really really simple so that bracket holds that you just take your thing you screw it on make sure your air nipple is in the front once it's tightened all the way down I feel like I'm going in crooked or something. So anyways. Um, I'm going to take it back off. But yeah, it just screws on to the bottom. It's pretty simple. It screws right onto that bolt. And then this top piece screws onto the bracket. So you're going to have this nipple on the front. And then these two bolts will hold on through the bracket in the top. So one other thing I did, and I need to tell you before, um, I tell you how to put the brackets on, but I put the shim in underneath the uh, the new bracket to angle it. I feel like it'll be more sturdy that way, and it gives more pin for the uh, for the bracket to fit in. So I kind of think that's a better idea. But, I mean, I could be wrong. Whatever. It's going to suck if I ever have to take it out. I'm not going to take it out, though. But, whatever. Um, that's how I did it. So, I'm going to put the uh, brackets on now. Alright, so the axle bracket is in and on the pins. Now, I just have to put the top bracket on and the bottom bracket. Um, and then U-bolts and tighten it down. And then I'll be done with this. And then we got to install the bracket up there. Before I put the bracket on, um, the brackets on, I am actually going to put the shock relocation um, extension, whatever you want to call it, on so that I can get the bolt in because um, it's a bitch. And if you put the, the bolt in with the nut on the back, it'll hit the bracket. I had it on there before like that and I kept hitting the bracket. But anyways, so I'm going to put the bolt in first and then the nut on the outside. So the shock extension is on there's a bolt that goes in there that has a shaft here i'm going to tighten that down it's there to so when you compress it down it doesn't um, kink the metal and then you hook the shock on there um i already got the the um mounting kit back on everything's tightened down should be good should be good next after i tighten down the shock extension I'm gonna hook up the bracket so I screwed the bag on 
and I connected it to the bracket. The bracket's not connected to the frame rail yet, but I noticed there was some stuff I may have to pull out um, or disconnect for a second to slide that, that plate up behind. Um, brake lines or something back there. I'll, I'll get a picture when I'm back there so I can show you guys, but I don't know what I got to move yet. So I just wanted to hold that in place. I don't have anybody else helping me. So that's the bracket I was talking about. It holds the brakes and stuff. That's right where the plate's going to go. You can see right here. Now there is a hole in the back plate right here. So I'm assuming that that piece comes out. You slide this up in and then you tighten it down. But we're going to find out here in a second. All right, so it's getting dark. I can't even show you. Uh, maybe a little bit. Yeah, I had to take that. That piece had a 10 millimeter in it. I got the bracket on the back. You can kind of see the bracket. It's, it's bolted down. I'll try to get it from the other side where there's a little light out there. Um, and then that's a 10 millimeter that holds on the brake lines. It, and the plate goes right over it. I put the air fill next to, right next to the um, connector for the trailer. Yeah, my truck's dirty shit out. I live on a dirt road. But anyways, I put the connector right there near the trailer hitch. Um, that wire is for my LED lights. I haven't hooked up yet because they didn't work with the plugs because of the, I don't know, something with the computer system. I have to hook them directly to the lights. But anyway, that's my fill hole. This is my driver's side. Airbag is, it, it's hooked up with the bracket. Bolts on top, bolts on the bottom and the back. Um, it's screwed down. And I ran the air hose through the frame rail so I don't have to tie it. I went back there over. I hooked it up with the T on top up there. Two zip ties. The other one goes back the same way above the tire through the frame rail and then over to the other airbag. And then this is the back of the... So the T goes from there over to here to the fill port. So everything's hooked up. I'm going to drop it and see what happens. But, uh... Hopefully I don't have any leaks. Shouldn't. They're all fairly easy pushing um, hose connector. Alrighty. Wish me luck. So this is the airbags completely deflated. I don't know if you can see this bob out. I don't know. Like maybe finger length. There's not that much space in here. And then I'm going to inflate it. And you can see it rise. This is how I fill it up. It takes like two seconds. Put 30 PSI usually. So this is what it looks like when I fill it up. I don't know if you can see the difference. I can. It literally lifted up like an inch maybe. And then it is, yep, it's about another inch higher. You can see like before my hand was like this. Now it's like this. So it's like another inch. But yeah, they work wonderful. Everything's level now. So, IHC airbags for lower trucks, great investment.